Hello everyone. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to create something fun. So we are going to build an analog clock. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using the same project we used for the last two tutorials with little minor changes. Basically, I'm going to move this uh, bar chart to the left hand side and uh, use this right column for our project for new analog clock all right so i'm going to change this into a uh, stack panel the dock panel we had actually get rid of this max height max width and go back with stick with the height property where we had the ellipse looking toggle button and then i'm going to get rid of this second stack panel we had our chart in Actually, I can get rid of this tag too because we have an ending thing right here, so that's gonna fit right in. Okay, so we got one stack panel with two controls we built in our last two tutorials. Okay, so for our farm project, we are going to use the right column, like I said before, and we are going to add a new grid. Okay, we're going to use a grid layout for this control or uh, project I'm gonna place this inside grid dot column one and close this out okay so we have a grid here let's start with adding some elements so we're going to use the we're going to be using the line object to uh, create our analog clock okay so the first line I'm gonna name this hour Okay, I'm gonna give it a um, let's see y two of let's say one eighty. We can play with that. I'm gonna give a stroke of red, a stroke thickness of um, let's say one. Okay, let's get a horizontal alignment of center and a vertical alignment of center. Okay, and uh, let's close this out. All right, so we have this line here. Let's increase thickness a little more. Maybe three. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna actually go ahead and move this line up. Uh, let's go with like minus 180. Okay, that's much better, I think. So like it starts from the center, goes up, and then I'm gonna need a uh, render transform, random transform origin property, render transform origin. This is going to be 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, and then I'm gonna expand this. I'm going to need um, line dot render transform. Oopsie. transform close this out and expand it and in this between the two tag I'm gonna add a rotate transform tag okay and close this out All right so our first line is ready now we're going to need two more of these guys so I'm gonna just copy and paste this you know what Let's say this is well this hour actually this let's change this to second. I mean or we can keep it hour and change the size here. Let's go with something smaller. How about 120? Alright. And let's get an angle of uh let's look at our time, it's 3 p.m. so Let's get angle 3 p.m. is like what 90 degrees okay so, all right that's fine so let's copy this paste it and let's change a few things here I'm gonna change this to min for minutes I'm gonna change the height to something like uh, 150 or 60 okay 
and minutes it's seven so that's roughly let's see seven is five um, two, two, six seven times 42 maybe 42 43 there you go. that's not bad okay uh, let's the rest should be okay let's copy paste one more time for the second hand let's call this second and let's increase the y2 value to 180 okay or 185 and then let's change second we don't have to worry but actually we can change this to zero doesn't matter okay all right so um okay that's good okay next we are going to add triggers so um actually below the line between the line and grid it's going to be grid dot triggers okay so we're going to add some animation to this to our uh, lines okay so we're going to start with event trigger that's going to be a routed event we are looking for the loaded event and inside here we're going to begin storyboard add our storyboard and the type of animation we are looking for is going to be double animation okay so the properties of our double animation let's set the storyboard that target name so the first one is going to be second hand right this guy here so let's type in second as sec for short that we used up here uh, the next property it's going to be target property all right this let's open couple prints open close dot open close so the first prints is going to be ui element whoopsie ui element gotta make sure we type this correctly this is text so we may end up with an exception so ui element dot render transform and in the second prints we are going to type in rotate transform dot angle okay that's done um, next duration so for the second hand to complete a full circle we need uh, 60 seconds which is one minute right so um, one minute and um, two is 360 and repeat behavior in we can do it three times five times like five x that's three times or we can do it forever so let's keep this one forever okay um let's copy and paste this double animation all right we're going to same use the same animation for the second one minute for the minute hand this one it's going to take one hour to complete the uh, full circle so one and um, again we can change this forever but I'm gonna keep it as it is Oops. all right let's copy and paste that uh, one more time double animation and this time we're going to target the hour hand 
and this one is going to take 12 hours okay let's run this see what happens oh mamma mia we got an exception I think yep at line 71 Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. UI element does not have a public property name. Render transform probably. Of course, typo. Of course. Of course. All right. So we're going to correct this typo. Since we copied the typo, carry it over to all of them. Okay, let's try again. All right, beautiful. Nice and smooth. And it's actually just like the original analog clocks where the uh, hands move smoothly versus the takes you get with the uh, berry uh, clocks. Okay, so our clock is working. Um, the next thing we want to do, we want to add an image to our background so I'm going to go inside the grid right here hit enter I'm going to open a grid dot background tag open close and uh, we need the image brush okay so uh, for image brush we need an image source the image source, I think I know the folder where my file is, so, but yours probably gonna be different if you have one. So users, Dell, desktop, um, images, WPF, it's a long, that so cars cars image I mean cars the name of the file I think it's a clock one dot jpeg I think I remember correctly but maybe not mm, WPF oh typo there it is all right that's more like it let's run this and see how it looks beautiful look at that perfect let's keep an eye on, eye on the uh, minutes hand see if it moves I think it's moving. Yep, it is moving. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Right now, just to um, make sure, I mean, if you want to make sure it's moving or not, we can increase the speed. Let's say uh, 
and I can change the minute to instead of one hour I can change that to let's say uh, one minute as well same thing with the hours you can change it to one minute just to test it all right perfect so it's working okay uh, let's switch back to where it was so this was actually one minute right no this was one hour and this was 12 hours okay let's run one last time and that should be it all right perfect okay so there you have it that's your analog clock and how to build it uh, in this tutorial we only used purely XAML but you can combine with C sharp or you can use poop completely C sharp that's completely up to you um, okay uh, I didn't go into storyboard in this one because I already have a tutorial so if you guys know to storyboards and animations you can go ahead and check that out but other than that until the next one have a good one take it easy